somebody want to come and test this for me grab a hold of wires yes no getting ready to install this chicken coop door I got this off of Amazon um, they've actually been sold out of these for a little bit so I'll try to link to it but they may or may not be available it's a pretty simple design um, you've basically got the door with the timer um, just has a couple of screws that goes over the entrance to your chicken coop now I don't need it it came with a ring shield that goes above the door but I have a roof over mine because of the way it's designed um, it come with some remotes it come with a solar panel it also come with a um, lithium battery that gets charged by the solar panel and it also come with a I kind of thought it was funny it also come with a electrical outlet like a wall wart charger that you can charge the battery up I guess if the solar panel is not sufficient the um the battery for it is 12 volt 3000 milliamp hours and I notice it's got just a standard like plug that a lot of electronic devices have these type of plugs the battery one actually has the opposite end that this fits into and I took and got a longer or a uh, a higher milliamp hour battery off of Amazon it was $39 and it was 12,000 milliamps so the battery is like four times the size of the standard one and um, I just realized I'm probably going to need an extension cable because this cable is not very long at all not even three foot and I didn't see another cable anywhere unless there's one you know, under it or something like that so I'll probably need to pick up some sort uh, it also has an emergency backup battery pack so you put eight lithium a batteries in it if the battery goes dead you can still emergency open the door up um, anyways I'm going to get all this installed and I better run in and order me another extension cord for that uh, cable right there because mine has to go outside quite a ways. Input port 12 volt. That's going to be close to the door. I actually might be able to make that work. So let me tell you what I got going on here. I've got my echo flow in the house currently pulling four to five watts and I've got it plugged into the chicken coop it comes with a wall charger so you could run it off of straight electricity if you needed to and then I've got that plugged into the lithium battery that plugs into the solar panel now the reason why that's important to know is some people made the comment on Amazon that the solar panel doesn't have a charge controller which is correct the reason why the solar panel doesn't have a charge controller is because the battery itself has a charge controller built into it so I figured I'd go ahead and show this to you this is a pretty temporary install right now because I had to order a cable from Amazon so I could extend the length of this I need to get my solar panel down that way but it just so happened to be let me explain how this works. You've got your solar panel. It's got a little short cord that goes over to your battery. Now I've got the battery stuck actually underneath this little soffit because that's just how it kind of worked out. And when it's, when the, uh, see if I can kind of show this to you. Let me un unplug this and you'll see that the green light stays on, which means that it's on. Then if I, and you can actually see that the light in there is on too. But if I shut this off, that green light goes out. 
and the light in there goes out, right? Makes sense. Now, if I plug the so solar panel in, what I'm doing is I'm testing the solar panel. So if I plug the solar panel in, my green light should come back on. There we go, green light's back on. You don't wanna do that for very long, so turn the battery back on. So with the battery on, the solar panel on, we got green lights, power's on on the inside. And I actually kind of like the idea of having that right there where I can get to it because I can swap out my other battery if that one it goes bad. And it just happened to work out that way. What I don't like is that this short cord right here between the solar panel and the battery pack is pretty short. And I want to extend it down to this area about where the one is for my garden or for the uh, electric fence is right there. It runs over to here. And so I want to get it down here because what that does is the sun rises over there and then sets over there. That's in summertime now. It's not summertime, so it's actually right up there right now. It would be nearly covered by that tree. That big old pine tree and those trees right there will keep that solar panel covered up most of the year. But even with it just being here where it's at right now, I'm still getting enough power to generate 12 volts going into the battery pack. So let me take you on the inside and we'll show you what how to set this up in there. So this is what it looks like attached to the coop. And you can kind of see that wire right there is kind of just running up and out. I'm actually going to put a wire tie. I've got some in the building. I just haven't done it yet. Because if you know anything about chickens, they see us dangling wire, they're going to try to figure out how to get to it to smack it with their beaks or stuff like that. So I'll take it and run that up against that a little bit better than it is right now just to secure it from the chickens inadvertently removing it. Anyways, when you plug it in, the first thing you have to do is you have to set the power. You do that by pressing the set button. And the first time you press it, it'll flash with one which is the hours and you're going to set the local time so let me see what the local time actually is hold on just a minute the local time is 108 so we'll go ahead and do this there's that we're going to set this to i don't know if it's military it is pretty good there press set again we need eight actually probably nine now press set again all right, 2P is, I believe, hold on, let me check. Going to do this again. 2P is the opening time, by the way. So I'm going to press set. One's going to come up. There's our hour, current time, minute, current time. 2P is the time to open. Uh, I'm going to set this for 8 a.m. right now because it's kind of still set, set. 3T is the time to close. That will be like 21. And I'm going to add some minutes. Even though it gets dark at like 9, I'm going to add some minutes to it because some chickens don't go in quite all the way. So I'm going to add 9.30. Then 4L is... i got to turn this over. That is the brightness. I want it the lowest brightness. So we want 5T to be on. So I'm going to go back in, do this again. Set. There's our current time, current minutes. 2T. We open up at 8 a.m. 3T. What time we close. 4T. Skip that one. 5T. The timer's on, that means it's going to open at the start run times. 6L off is whether or not the light is going by the light sensor instead. 7A is the force of the door. 8F is the force that it drops. And there we go. Now we're set up. Now, you can press the test, which I'm getting ready to do. If you press test one, door opens. If you press test again, it stops. If you press test a third time, it closes. All 
I think that looks like it's going to work pretty good. Anyways, I got some more stuff I'm going to do this. Like I said, I want to add a larger capacity battery. I'm going to get this cable right here done. But yeah, I think this is built pretty well. Um, it does have, so there's literally three or four ways you can run this. You can run it off of solar. You can, it actually comes with a wall plug. You can plug into it and run it off of normal household 120 volt battery. It's also got an emergency backup battery pack right there that you can put like some double A batteries into it to open and close it. Um, there's two remotes that it comes with you can use to open and close it. You can have it open and close by a preset open and close time or you can have it open and close by the light the ambient temperature or the amp ambient light so i think this is a pretty good little system and uh i think the reason why that you know there's a few negative comments but let's face it a lot of the people installing this they don't have an electrical background electronics background which i do so i knew how to fix you know the issues i had with it on the shorter cords and uh you know the other stuff i did not because of fault of the door but simply because the way my coop is set up this is actually set up where you know this faces away from the sunlight and it gets dark in here relatively easy early so having it set by the ambient light is not going to work a, I'm going to have to use a static open and close time. Um, the other thing is because of the location of my chicken coop, it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. So I have to get a bigger battery pack. But I mean, I've still got, let's see, one, I think I, I got this on sale. I think it was 129 and then, or it might have been 119 And then I paid $39 for the battery that's like four times the size of the battery that come with it was like $39. And then I think the cable was $14, the extension cable. So I've still got less than 200 bucks in this. And uh, in the eight years I've had chickens, the only time anything has ever been able to get to my chickens was at nighttime while they were in the coop asleep and something could get into this run you know there were some holes down there that i've already fixed but something would get in this run they get in there when i would forget to close the door there used to be a just a normal hinge door that i'd come out and close every night and some nights i'd forget to close it and it never fail you might go six months with that door open forgetting to close it and the chickens never get hurt and then one night out of the blue your chickens you know, one or many of them can get killed. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. There are links to all the products in the description. Everything that I use, the, even the battery remotes, the extension cable, the additional extra capacity battery, and, um, and also this chicken coop door. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.